Just make sure you don't have a stroke or a heart attack over the festive period. Up to 100,000 NHS nurses are preparing to walk off the job in a row over pay, in addition to thousands of paramedics and 999 call handlers downing tools on December the 21st. The Royal College of Nursing said A&E departments, maternity care and cancer wards would not be excluded from strike action on December the 15th and 20th as staff demand a near 20% pay rise. Up to 140,000 patients could have operations cancelled after already spending months on eye-watering NHS waiting lists of 7.1 million people. Now, Fleet Street legend Calvin McKenzie is with me. And Calvin, you say these angel nurses will never regain their halos after this. Calvin, it's a bold statement. I, I expect it from you, but you're very serious about this, aren't you? You're furious with this strike action. I find it unconscionable to believe that our health industry, the nurses, now the ambulance people, and the ambulance people have said that it'll be a matter of negotiation to decide who they go and pick up. So what they're saying is it literally, I mean, if you're half dying and you're in the road in a car crash, they'll go for you. But if your old mum has broken a hip and she's lying in the bathroom, they're not going to go and pick her up. Who is going to pick up that lady? Who's going to pick up your dad? Who's going to, who's going to look, worry about your child when you take them to A&E, when there's nobody there? And they say, I tell you what, we don't think that child is sick enough for us to spend our time with. I, I, I find it impossible to understand. I also find it impossible to understand how stupid the British public are. The voting currently, allegedly in the latest YouGov poll, shows that 51% are hostile to RMT, uh, disrupting our uh, Christmas, disrupt, disrupting our ability to get anywhere around the country to see our nearest and dearest. But 37% are in favour of it. Well, let's just say the 37% are probably, a good percentage of them are on um, probably universal credit, a good percentage of them are far lefties. But there is going to be some kind of middle of the road ones who say, I'll tell you what, you know, like teachers or social workers or those kinds of people who probably say, I'll tell you what, I, I think those people are fighting our battle for them. Let's hope they win because we'll guarantee ourselves a pay rise without having to lose any money through having a strike. There is a shocking attitude in our country right now. I recognize that some people are really facing very difficult times. But if we all had a 20% pay hike, like the nurses, and by the way, NHS Digital, who do all the maths surrounding what pay looks like, says the average pay for a nurse is, is 40,000 a year anyway. Okay, this is NHS Digital. It's part, of the, uh, it's part of the collecting of the data. They are real people. But how do you feel? How does your audience feel about the idea? Uh, my mother, um, had a had a stroke and then broke her hip and was lying on the floor, perhaps for, this was in good times, this is about three years ago, right? In good times, she probably was on the floor for, I don't know, an hour. There was a whole load of phone calls, me and her partner calling up, calling up, calling up. Now there's a story in the Times tomorrow in which some old boy, 85, fallen over, broken his hip, lived across the road from the hospital in Denbyshire in Wales, right? Nobody came to him for seven hours. The family had to cover him in the rain with a tarpaulin and an umbrella. It's disgraceful. What a shock. It's and now there's an inquiry. There's an inquiry going on. The Welsh Ambulance uh, Service say X. The hospitals say Y. Everybody's to blame. Have you ever noticed? It's never, it's never... It's, it's never somebody, I tell you what, it, it's him over there, it's her over there. It's all get lost in some kind of yeah. bureaucracy. Well, yeah, and, and, and Calvin, the reality.